a fascinating fight from top to bottom is the featherweight debut of one Aljamain Sterling, of course, the former bantamweight champion going up against the vet, Calvin Cater, have no idea what to expect. And that's why we love this fight so much. Wanted to talk to Calvin about it. He's kind enough to join us for a few minutes here from Las Vegas. Looks good out there. Not quite like the Northeast over here. Uh, Calvin, thank you so much. When you got the call that they wanted you on this card, what was your reaction? Big opportunity, obviously, but coming off the year and almost a half layoff, the next fight was big to me no matter who I was stepping across. Uh, big moment for me to come back after a long layoff and excited to throw on a hell of a performance. Mentally, how would you describe last year for you, not being able to compete? It's a good question, honestly, where you said mentally. Where was I? Because that's what it is, man. It's a, it's a long layoff. It's a big mental game. And, yeah, all I, all I could do is just focus on recovery. My fight then became recovery for the last year and some change. Every day I felt like I was laying a good brick of uh, just trying to be as healthy as possible for, like I said, the inevitable return. I, I knew I was going to be back in here one day, and the more I focused on this three, the sooner it would be and the more ready I would be. Like you said, man, it tests you mentally, and uh, it speaks to a lot of things that these guys, like you said, talking about the mental health stuff, that's important, you know, going deep on it, both go, going in on it. It's good to hear these strong voices talk about things like that. And, uh, you know, we all have it, those highs and those lows. And uh, I'm just excited, man, more grateful than ever to have a big opportunity to get back. And I, I, I'm coming into this fight with just a little bit more uh, gratitude, man. And I usually have it, but this time it's a little bit more special. And then you add in the historic card of UFC 300. I'm excited to go and compete. Was there a part of you that feared that you may never get back to this point? I mean, you know that clip where uh, Kobe talks to Jimmy Kimmel? Yeah. And they're going over that, that ACL injury and then all those doubts he had. I kinda, I've kind of had that roller coaster ride of emotions, but, man, I'm feeling, I'm feeling mentally strong now that I, I got this opportunity to get back. I'm ready to go deliver... Uh, a performance worthy of such a historic card. I love it. Well, I wish you the best. Uh, kudos to you on making it all the way back. I know that, yeah, I know we talk about it for two minutes here, but people don't see the grind day in and day out. That's a long freaking stretch. So well done and good luck to you on Saturday. Can't wait for this fight. Appreciate it, Ari. Always good talking to you. Thank you. Same here. Doing our morning workout with Gift, just getting some striking in, and uh, we'll eat lunch. Then I'll go get PT one to two. We'll check in with UFC, and then uh, we will get the cage tonight at six. Get a little workout in, and fight week festivities will be kicked off. Just chilling, enjoying the warm weather, the sunlight. Uh, fight week, so it's a little, a little bit slower than last week. Got another session in tonight, but he looks good, man. I like how calm he is. It's cold, man. But there's like this little spot right here. And the, the, just, the jacuzzi meets the water just right. We go right here. It's like an ice bath. Uh, Maybe, maybe this time it would be like some sort of slice of pizza, maybe. Yeah. It's Jackie, though. See it? Bomber jacket, because I'm ready to drop bombs this Saturday. Ain't nobody hate a bashful man. Nobody hates Ruben. I don't even know what bashful is. Show me a guy that hates Ruben and I'll show you an idiot. Alright? He hates me. Yeah, but I am an idiot. <laughs> Are you looking sharp? Is it looking clean? 
everything's going, man. You got it's a well-oiled machine they got here. I uh, thought these guys coming out here and how they're working. So just observing right now, watching these guys, how they do everything, and trying to emulate this in my in my training in the future. Hopefully, this is where I want to be. So for me, it's just like you know, every rep I get here to be here for a fight week, something I can use in the future for myself. So it's good shit here. They're working, I'm working. <laughs> Is it good? You know, we checked in with UFC, you know, signed the posters, all that stuff. Um, tomorrow will be media day. We got our two workouts in, weight's in a good spot. So, uh, fight week is officially kicked off. My eyes are black, my body hurts, my legs hurt. He's ready, man. He's so ready. I feel like he's gonna shock the world. He's gonna remind everybody, you know, who the fuck Calvin Cater is. He's gonna get a 50 grand bonus, you know? Yeah. You get your picture with uh, Oliver? No. Wow. Because I can't ask. I'll ask for ask you next for time. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Just tell hey. me and I'll ask for you. Yeah, and then uh, can't wait till he's like. It is Wednesday of fight week, so it's media day. So we got a little workout with Jake now, our first sweat, and then we'll go get some PT at one to two. Come back here, grab a really quick lunch, and then we'll go back to the Apex to do our media day. That should take a couple hours. Come back here, eat dinner, then we're back on the, the big cage at seven. We're at the uh, final stretch. It's like to see him back in the octagon. Uh, the camp's been awesome. Really, the, the, the biggest thing this whole camp, and T and I talk about it almost every single day, is Calvin's mental state. Just ultra positive. Confident fighter, a happy fighter is a dangerous fighter, especially with Calvin Cater. Yeah. been a year and a half since we've had a, a, a cater fight week so it's nice having the, the old the old group back together you know because at the end of the day like we're not doing this forever so you gotta just try to appreciate these fights that we do have with the, the guys you know been at this 10 years it's not gonna last forever you know we're not near the end yet but you know you start to appreciate it a little bit more like we, we couldn't fight for a year and a half we didn't get to have fight weeks now it's, like, it's kind of cool to have Calvin back in fight week and uh, I think just like the fans are super excited to see him fight again like this whole group here is excited to see him get back in there too. Bench it without this. Oh, right. Yeah, we gotta load it and pull it. Ready? Lift it up. Hold on, hold on, I'm not ready. Okay, three, two, one. Three, two, go. Okay, good. Oh, I like our arms in a lock. This is cute. Ready? Get down. Down. Two, we're at two. We're at two. I think we can do a lot more. Four, five, six, seven. 65 pounds, two guys. This ain't shit, guys. We can do this all day. Hey, Ross, look how jacked we are. You see this, Ross? Tandem bench press. Floor press, excuse me. Right, how long do we have to 30. do this? All right, good, we're done. 30? We did 30. Just a quick call. I don't know if you
You ready for your warm up? Oh boy. We'll see. Save this one for the OnlyFans. Exclusive material. How much will we charge? All right, guys, get jogging. Jogging circle. Switch partners, Tom, go with Calvin now, give him a different look, same thing. Two for two. Good work, Cal. Time, grab a drink. You good? Yep. Good work, guys. Um, yeah, no, we just got to fucking. Do you have a speech you wanted to say? No. Wrap up. Uh, Bring it in. Can't pull the cut. I don't have a speech, but I will say something. Say something nice. So, guys, good work. Something. Obviously, God has been off for a year and a half. Big fight coming back. Big card. Everybody stepped it up. Tom, you were a punching bag this whole fucking camp. You showed up the whole time. Carney, you've been supporting as a new teammate. All the coaches. Ruben, you fucking stepped it up. His jiu-jitsu looks different. We had Dupree a lot. Rob, obviously, you're always in here as a training partner and a mentor to, Rob, uh, to Calvin. Obviously, just a weight cut tomorrow, and then one thing to do on Saturday works not done. Let's fucking get the win. One, two, three. Win. 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 <laughs> win on three. Win on three. three. Let's go win on three. <laughs> Team on three. One, two, three. Team. I'm not, a speech, I'm not a speech guy. You're a speech guy. You're, you're, you are a speech guy. You are a speech guy. It's the apex threw me off, guys. You are a speech guy. It's like, ready for break. Yeah. Bomber jacket, because I'm ready to drop bombs this Saturday. <laughs>